a lot of local businessmen were all training to, to, to fight in a competition, a white collar boxing competition. The idea come from, uh, I was at a boxing show just before I went to the Olympics and there was two, two of them on about saying, oh, if I got you in the ring I would do this, I'd get... I mean, I mean, the 40 odd year old, you know, and they're having a bit laughing, but they were being serious. So I says, well, why don't, when I get back from the Olympics, we'll organise a, a, a white collar boxing event for charity and you'll be able to fight each other. So, oh, that's a great idea. And since then, I mean, there's been tons and tons of people wanting want to get on it and fight on this thing. I didn't realise, I mean, he's like between 40 and 50 year old and they've, they've all got a load, load of money. They're all uh, managing directors of companies. Uh, so, so they're all, they're all really looking forward and they're all training for it now. It's getting a, a lot of attention because it's a, a big event and everyone wants to see their boss at work get, get bashed up, I think. I sparred with Tony like two weeks ago and uh, I think it was over four rounds. And by the end of it, my head guard was on sideways. I looked like a drunk. But um, it was great. I mean, I had headache and so shoulders now, but it was just an honour, if you know what I mean. I know it sounds crazy, but it was an honour to spar with him. It was really good. I enjoyed it. And I always tell my kids, can't I? Well, the main event will be a breeze compared to the training. I mean, you know, I, I played first team rugby up at uh, Newcastle Grosser for a number of years. And, you know, rugby's a hard physical attrition game, you know, and it's violent at times. Boxing is a different level because somebody's hitting back consistently and the intensity is there. So the training is, is actually harder than rugby, which I didn't think it would be. I come down here uh, just to uh, get fit and hopefully learn something about boxing before I go in the ring. Uh, training's quite uh, vigorous. It's um, hot, much harder than I was expecting, but I am thoroughly enjoying it. Throw a jab and when his hands there, pop over. So, so pretend, Mark, feint, and you got to try and push well, and pull. Right. When you parry, just, just, just try and push rather, rather, rather than, do you know what I mean? Right. I'm feeling as uh, fitter than I've ever felt in my life. Uh, that, that's the, the, the main advantage. The uh, learn out of the box uh, has amazed me because I've, I've found out it's so technical. Um, it's as technical as anything like karate or Aikido. Like it's uh, so much to learn. I'm enjoying the uh, the technique side of it, learning stuff, you know, because everybody thinks they can be a boxer, don't they? You know, you watch it and think, I can do that. Yeah, everybody in the pub. I was the same, you know, I thought, oh, I can definitely do it. And then when you get there and it's not about just throwing punches and everything and it's learn to defend yourself and I mean I, I'm enjoying all aspects of it but getting fit the, the main side and the boxing side but I've just like to learn um, defence more than anything you know so I can actually defend myself rather than blocking shots with my head all the time.